All right, welcome to Getting Dirty with Glenn. This video is meant to be an introductory video just to familiarize you what you can expect if you stop by here again to watch some of the videos. Getting Dirty with Glenn is really about gardening. I've been designing, building, maintaining large residential and estate gardens for the past 34 years. It's also about riding my bike, getting here out of the sun. It's 87 degrees today. Uh, you might, we might be talking about uh, maybe riding my electric mountain bike that I got from, that I purchased uh, Trek Marlin Plus 8 this uh, past spring. Or I've had my recumbent Cat Trek 559 for about um, four or five years. And there's a whole, another story behind that. You can probably see that in some of my other videos. And getting dirty part is... <clears throat> My wife passed away in January of 2023. It's 2024 when I'm shooting this in June. And uh, it was obviously a significant loss for me. I was lost. It was my business partner, my wife, my, uh, my everything. And I didn't know what to do. I, I just couldn't bring myself to go back to work in my clients, in our clients' gardens because I thought I'd see Cheryl everywhere. So I took a year off. I just did nothing. I, it was a costly summer to do that, but I just couldn't bring myself to work in the gardens. What I did last year was I went out and I rode my bike a lot. Um, for me, probably 1,500, 2,000 miles, I don't remember offhand. Somewhere in there, did a lot of kayaking, bought a kayak. Uh, in late summer, did some kayaking, which Cheryl and I always did in Pennsylvania and here. And that's what helped me get through my, that's what's helped me on my grieving journey. What I've learned on my grieving journey is that grieving loss is synonymous with learning. I've learned so much about myself. I learned even more looking back on our relationship that I now realize, I've realized that when we're married, but it's even become stronger after she passed away what a great relationship we had, both working and personal relationship for 34 years. So we're getting dirty with Glenn. Um, you can make comments below this video to let me know what you'd like to see. You'll see me making videos about how I'm, I, I think everybody should get outside. If you're grieving, it could be a loss of a spouse, could be a loss of a job, a relationship, could be a lot of things like that. But for me, what's worked is to get outside. It's just like working out. You never feel bad once you go work out and you get there, you go, oh yeah. You know, you may have put off working out for three hours and you go, I'm gonna go to the gym, or I'm gonna go swim laps to the Y. You get back, you go, man, I, I don't know why I, I put that off so much. It's the same thing about getting outside here for me. Um, I live out in the country and I like living out here. I, I love people, but I also like the peace and quiet of getting away. Um, but I just, like I said, getting dirty with Glenn, I can talk about gardening, I can talk about garden design, I have a degree in landscape architecture from Iowa State. That's what my clients like about working about with me. You're not gonna find, I can probably guarantee you, you're not gonna find any other companies have a landscape architect that is getting their hands dirty. I never wanted to sit in the office, I'm not an ivory tower kind of guy. I want to get my hands dirty. I love the smell. I like seeing new perennials coming in. Um, let me go in here a little bit. It's a little bit darker in here, but I like to uh, I like to get dirty. Um, kayaks. I've got a couple different kayaks. I got a Liquid Logic 12.0 and a Jackson Tupelo 12 and a half up on top. So it's just plain getting dirty. I love being in the pole barn like this. I feel comfortable here, not a cubicle kind of guy, never been a cubicle kind of guy. Um, I like something different every day. And that's what this is about. So make comments in the section below if you want to see videos on biking. I'm not getting into the technical stuff. There's plenty of people that do the technical aspects of biking, the gearing, all that stuff. I'll tell you what I like about my bikes. I love rails to trails. Cheryl and I rode a lot of rails to trails. Um, for when we lived out in Pennsylvania, we rode mountain bike trails. And then we moved here, 
one of the parameters is we had was we wanted to be near a bike trail and not knowing how many fantastic trails we have here in southeast Wisconsin and Wisconsin in general up north like Manitouish Waters, uh, Bike the Heart, uh, Elroy Sparta, Mariner Trail from Manitowoc, uh, Two Rivers. Um, so, like I said, if you're coming here for tech stuff, I'm not going to do, I, I'm not going to get into tech, people that do that. You're not going to find a lot of fancy editing in these videos. The fanciest editing you'll see is when I maybe go on a bike ride or kayak, and instead of me talking and jabbering like I am now, you're going to just hear nothing but great music tied to the videos. But like I said, you're not going to find any editing. I don't have sponsors. You're not going to find ads here all the time for the latest vitamin drink or for the latest protection for your computer. I, you know, I may talk about what kind of cameras I use and that kind of stuff, but I really don't have the interest in spending 40 hours editing a video. So it's going to be rough. Um, I love technology. I do that to provide outstanding service for my gardening clients. I had to get good at technology because they have multiple homes around the country. Some clients I don't see for a year, but I still needed to share with them uh, what I was doing for them. So I've rambled a little bit, but I just want to give you a quick overview of, I know glass not quick, it's already been a couple of minutes. I wanted to give you an overview of what getting dirty with Glenn is all about. Um, this is one take, <laughs> no editing. Um, I'm just going to go in, download this to my phone, put it on InShot. No music to this because I'm just talking. And uh, it'll be up on YouTube. So let me know. Biking, kayaking, gardening, how I dealt with loss. You let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see me do. And uh, that's what I'll do. I'm also, I live in Sea Lake, Michigan from my house here, even though I'm two miles inland. And I don't know. I, I'm a cool weather guy. Even though I'm chronologically gifted, a lot of my friends like the heat at 75 in the winter. I like to sleep when it's 62 degrees. I like to be outside when it's 75 degrees or cooler. Not a lot of humidity. Um, that's why I don't go south of the Cheddar Curtain much because I love Wisconsin here. I like the snow. I like the Four Seasons. Um, but it is hot today. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Remember to lead with love and kindness.